Playing with Hi everyone, it's Lex. Holly. And welcome to episode 2 of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Hi. So. Welcome. <laughs> Holly's in control. Alright, I don't know how to play this thing. Eh. Okay, that's cutting. Were you not reading with me? Were you not reading the lawn? Sure. Let's go with that excuse. Alright. Look! I don't- I don't have a jump button! Mm. That threw us off way so much! I think it threw up everybody who played Zelda for the first time. Yeah, the whole no jumping, and then yeah. you got used to it, and then, like, Breath of the Wild showed up and was like, Hey, jumping! Yeah, that's the thing. And then now it's hard going back to the old Zeldas, because you're like, Oh no, but he did have a jump button. Hello, fairies! <laughs> the gasp! Don't worry, I got this. There we go. Just a little chunky. <gasps> oh my goodness! It's one of the fairies! It's a dark fairy. You don't see anything. I blend in with the forest. <laughs> I am one with the leaves. It's our first time in real combat. Ow. <laughs> Great if I sliss your head. Nothing. What? Lame. Um. Come on. Come on. Up. There we go. We debated a bit whether we were going to do the GameCube version or the Wii U version. Ultimately, the swift sail was a big factor. Um, we really didn't care about the Triforce hunt. We had no problem with it when we were kids. And... But we knew it would save time. Also, it's just pretty. Have you seen any rubies? Those are mine! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Ouch! <laughs> I am one of the fairies. What? Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Oh, Miss! Miss Tetra! It's me! Gonzo! With the wind! <laughs> oh, oh, thank you! Thank goodness you're safe! When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought you for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird and fold. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Huh. Okay. Did you take my rubies? Hey! <laughs> I promise you, there's like at least two green ones. <laughs> hey! Hi, big brother! Gosh, those seagulls really love you. <laughs> it me! It you! Here I come! Uh-oh. Brother! Uh. You're an idiot. Ah, stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. To come with us on our ship. <laughs> Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates? The terror of the seas? The guys with guns? What did we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what you get. A headache. 
I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates had to come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, I'll tell you. Now, if my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard of word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you heard of it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears have been getting kidnapped, ever, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who has just been kidnapped from this island has also long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. This always confused me because I could have sworn everyone had long ears, but I guess not. Maybe females only that they're looking for? I don't know. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you. And that's why I grabbed her. And that's why I grabbed her. I guess her ears are technically longer than his. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young good boy here who saved you from the monsters and horse, wasn't it? Is it true? It's true! Oh, and while I'm at it, I might as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Good Boy's sister has its foul nest in the north of the highest of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Good Boy a little help, now, would it? I didn't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but the cheap little sword. That's not brave. It's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself. Anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave... You won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting a weepy eye and homesick on me. <laughs> and I waddled away! Waddle waddle. I have to tell the post cop bird man. Oh yeah, we never have showed Beetle. I'm gonna miss you the most! <laughs> Hello! A customer! Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. I knew it. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Just use L to browse. Yes, I want the piggy bag. <laughs> yes. Piggy bag! You can keep plenty of bait in this thing. There's eight pouches. See what's inside. You're the greatest! I'll never forget you! I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. You'll be targeted. <laughs> My what? shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. you I'll have you know. Yes, yes. Thanks, Hot Duck. Now uh, you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, my. Oh, and just use this to browse. So you get three baits with this guy. Yep. But it only takes one storage space. Thank you! I'm two just... points, blah blah blah! I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Okay. You gonna buy a pair? Yeah, I'll buy one pair because I only know... I know, like, very few instances or Yeah, few the pair is cool, but it's sort of, like, uh, very circumstantial. Yeah. Alright, one more of these, and we're good. Thank you. For now. Bye! <laughs> Come again! Oh. Alright, I said everybody needs to get you by, too! Yeah. Oh, yeah, she'll never get out of that. It's funny, because I remember as... 
as kids, it took us a while to figure out where to get the shield. Because <laughs> we're dumb. I'm sure the lawnmower guy is really heartbroken about this. I'm sure he won't mention anything about his blasted lawn or how he keeps regrowing every time somebody enters a house. <laughs> At this point, just give it up, man. Sometimes you can find things in the grass you cut. I knew it. You don't care about anybody else. This is why you're excluded on this side of the island. You have a name, so there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you probably do, but I don't care enough. Good boy, your sister, Ariel. She's... Don't tell me. You're not going to board that ship and try to save her, are you? Are you? No. <laughs> Children. Good boy, are you going somewhere? No. What? <laughs> okay. Hey, aren't you listening to me? Don't go, good boy! Don't go. Aw. Hey, aren't you listening to me? Don't go! Leave. <laughs> Don't leave, leave! <laughs> we would care. <laughs> Get off the island. Hey, your sword thing didn't kill the bird. And I can't fly with it. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skill with the sword? No. Do not begrudge the effort required to build strength. If you change your mind, come see me. I'll be happy to train you. Okay. I'll be happy when my sister's not lunch meat. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the girl that carries pot. Oh, crap. <laughs> I think that's their granddaughter, the one who carries pots. Ah. I know you could break it and then you have to pay for it. But she isn't wearing it one now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, good boy. I thought I heard Ariel's voice cry from far away. Is it? Is it really true? Yeah. And I never told her how to carry a pot on her head. So like that too. Oops. Gotta go save her now for that reason alone. Well, Seriously. Did something happen to you? Go you to the other well. side of the island. You see that guy? Although she did ask if you were oh. okay at the very end. She said you oh, don't yeah. look well. I no. Now she won't. Oh. Well, well, fun fact. Even if you throw the pigs out of the pin, they will always respawn back. They're dead. They have, they have been sealed to their fate. There was money behind those trees you could cut down now. I don't need money. I will later on. But that now. There. Yummy. Yummy? You Yippee! just wanted me to destroy nature. Hey, Grammy. You're gonna lose two kids in one day. Oh, hi. <laughs> what is it? Point, please. Tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Ariel? Is she still playing outside with the golds? So... I'm gonna go take this ladder. What? Granny? Did we run out of plates again so we've used our family shield? Oh, uh, <laughs> Granny, you missed my sick kickflip. Is this what you're looking for? Um, maybe. Take it with you. Get the hero's shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. I love, like, these are, like, pretty much only times when Grandma pretty much gives you anything you have, like, a unique <laughs> face to it. Defend yourself with, uh, while holding the sword. You can move around and defend while targeting. I was gonna train you on that. <gasps> love that animation. Oh, I forgot how much I love this song. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? I had forgotten this song. Pretty much all throughout what was high school. Yeah. 
any opportunity I had to play an instrument of any kind, I always played the song. And I don't think I remember how to play it now. It's Grandma's theme. <laughs> He's so heartbroken about all the things. <laughs> he doesn't know how to contain all these emotions. Why damn you? <laughs> Girls, like you are not making me feel any better. <laughs> All right, heartbreak. We're sad. Whatever. Who cares? I don't care. Destroy proper property. Crabs. Hey, a shrimplet. Are you gonna be our new pirate swabby? Is any new swabby reports to me? Yes, this means I don't have to wash the other pirates' dirty underpants anymore. She can't be serious. What is she thinking, bringing a shrimp like you on board? Talk about a joke. Boy, Miss Tetra's impulsive nature sure has a way of landing us in hot water. Shrimp, if you're going to be sailing on a pirate ship, you better be prepared to become a pirate, yeah? Because if you get scared and start begging and crying at us to let you off the ship somewhere, so oh, I guess I have an accent, then you're guaranteed to end up as a shark bait. <laughs> you want to go anywhere? I just, I just threw this accent. <laughs> <laughs> Natural. This is a terrible situation, good boy. I'm truly sorry. Unfortunately, I can't go in your stead. But if anything happens, please come to my island. I'll do what I can to aid you. This guy's cool. I think his name's Quill. I thought he was a girl when I first <laughs> played this. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! Don't ever Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, you're off the ship! <laughs> Chuck! <laughs> Rescue mission! Yeah! We got beach. Good luck, good boy! Good luck, fighting Ariel! Take care of yourself! <gasps> oh, all that money I left. <laughs> I'll come back for you. You're talking about the money, aren't you? <laughs> uh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're going to get all more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure you shouldn't just turn around and take you, you back at the island? <laughs> no. I wasn't sad or anything. I don't even- I don't even care. Good boy. Listen, kid. You can't just stand around on deck. You get in everyone's way. I told Nico to look after you, so you better report to below deck and ask him what you should be doing. And the big blue boys, turn the ship full to starboard. We're headed for the northern seas. Listen, shrimp, you're really creeping me out standing there like that. So quit it, yeah. Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Is this better, sir? It's already evening. Hmm, that Nico does didn't make out half bad. With you being new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's really raw deal. But hey, 
I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom run of the pirate matter. You bet he is. Hey, don't you sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so as long as you don't, don't disobey him. So, you said below, right? <laughs> below the sky. Below. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I can do that. You. Get out of the way, will you? Turn around right now. Climb down. <laughs> this is my alone space. You mean like this? Like this? So you really plan on going into the Forsaken Fortress? Listen, I'll tell you once I see it. So climb down, will you? Don't. Don't. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, that's right. We built this thing because we knew there no. would be idiots like you trying to freaking throw yourselves off. You don't it. know crap. You don't know anything about me. You don't know me. Is this your only cannon? <laughs> so your name's Good Boy, right? <laughs> that's one weird get up you got there. So what's the deal? This is it a popular bag on your island or what? Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. Hot topic! <laughs> Maybe. I mean, they probably sell it. A Halloween store! Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin! Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it! Where you guys sleep? None of your beeswax. <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Stealing from pirates. That's the easiest the thing. Hello, Nico. Oh, well now. Hoi there, Swabby. As of today, <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you. So you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test that all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what? I mean, you're an idiot. <laughs> what? First off, you gotta press the switch. Right, this is the old easy plot. That's, that's, that's the second... <laughs> Generation. Yeah. Just walk up to it and tell the L to step on it. Presto! Switch press. I know what I'm doing. Clearly you don't. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so I was able to jump on this first one myself, but the next one's too far, right? That's when you gotta do uh, this. Fly. <laughs> I can fly. If you jump on the rope, you can grab it and use L to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go and jump onto it. Whee! So you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of the room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get ri get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. If you stand underneath them, you die. <laughs> Whee! I did that. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try, this ought to be good for a chuckle or two. Bye, Nico. <laughs> Bye, Nico. <laughs> this gave me so much anxiety as a kid. So, this is apparently the big new thing that they added in um, this game for the series, was the idea of swinging. Which seems so wild to me because it was- oh, whoops. Hey. It was such like an important feature. 
Hey, what are you doing? You have to jump and make it over here. Falling is a part of the program, Swabby. Oh, here's this one thing I forgot to tell you. Presses the switch and kills you. Yeah, no. When you're taking on a rope, you can tilt L and change direction. Hold ZR to stop and tilt down to climb up and down. Try it if you don't like the angle of your next jump. That would have been my issue. Well, just letting you know, if it is an issue... Well, it wasn't. But if it ever becomes an issue... I can just leave you there to die, right? I'm not an idiot, there's a ladder. No, there isn't. If there was, I would have just walked across No, it. I'm just saying I can jump down. You say you think I can't handle a fall? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can handle anything. I'll have you know I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that'll be you no know cheating. <sighs> He's going for the advanced move. Yeah. The advanced technique. Uh huh. Shit. They killed me and managed to pull that off. I probably won't. I have nothing to worry about. Oh my god, he did it! <laughs> well, I ain't gonna like poison or anything. Like, that's an abusive technique. I mean, it's not even that big of a deal. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning and changed my pants too. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I love Nico. Oh, what is he, what is he up to now? Like, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Whatever, what's one flying bug? I did it! Oh my god, I think it would have been faster had you not done that. <laughs> what? You did it already? In the most roundabout way, too? I, I, I'm proud to have you as... as my... as my underling. The voice is getting more ridiculous as this goes on. <laughs> I wonder if it's okay just to give it to him? I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in the chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Ah, stealing. No, I'm giving you. Stealing, it. I guess. Yeah. Wink. Whoa, who put the light flashlight in here? <laughs> Oh no, I feel something. You got the spoils bag. Hooray! Holy oh. natives. Hey, good boy, reach the forsaken first. Hurry up and get up here. But the other guy said he was going to tell us. What the hey? Yeah, but there's still so much stuff I have to teach you. This is so lame. Ah well, I guess you can wait until you finish whatever it is you have to do. Because I'm certain that once you save your sister, you're totally gonna stick around and not just abandon us. Uh -huh. And make me swabby once more. Uh -huh. I'm sure that's not what's going to happen. Yep. What are you doing? Well, I was trying to do it backwards. I mean, I see that, but why? <laughs> I was trying to press you something. <gasps> what, what are you doing? <laughs> I want to see you not break your neck falling in there. Bye! <laughs> Door. Wait, so I'll be sadistic. <laughs> Hope to never see you again. I'm taking this. No! <laughs> <laughs> there, I love a donation. Come on. Hey, good boy! Here I am, up here! That's nice. The Unmiss is waiting for you up above. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Thanks for letting me know. Anytime. What are you doing, Shrimp? Miss Tetra is waiting for you up in the crow's nest. She can leg ya. Yeah. Go, hoof it. Whatever you think, Bruce. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm channeling for him. Was well, Nico's test easy? Really? I mean, seriously. Oh yeah, we are still here. So that's the Forsaken Fortress. What an evil looking place. Yep. Eh. Come on. Up, up. Yep, yep. Skip, skip. And letters. Bane of Holly's existence. Next to bombs. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid games for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look there. 
That's the cursed island known as the Forsaken Fortress. Looks like a concert hall. <laughs> there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. I knew it! Look! Over there! By that window! Seagulls! <laughs> Have you seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I bet you know anything that's the place where you, they got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'll be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. What do we do now? <laughs> Wait, how? <laughs> how did I not notice this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into the dangerous places, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We probably do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. You may not die. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Never fear, kid. You're pro we're pros. We're gonna lock you good. In three. <laughs> two. <laughs> one. <laughs> Hasta luego. <laughs> Why is that convenient? Did the bird did not see that or feel that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the Forsaken Fortress. I remember as kids we had such a hard time navigating this place. But here we are. We're almost there, folks. We just ah. have to get through this place and we can save our sister. Yes. We will succeed! So, next time, the Forsaken Fortress. Bye.